Alright, hey everyone, so I have a Funko Pop update for you here. Uh, it's a small update, uh, so I'm gonna start with uh, this one. It is Harry Potter, <clears throat> and um, it's the Triwizard Tournament version of Harry Potter, so this is from the Goblet of Fire. So let's take him out of the box here and show him to you. So here's Harry Potter. And as you can see, he's dressed in his little uh, Triwizard Tournament outfit and he's got a wand here. And um, yeah, so you, uh, you can't really tell in the video, but he's got the scar right here. And here's the back. See, it says Potter on the back. So yeah, that's um, Harry Potter. Um, the next one, uh, I'm not really a fan of these. They're called uh, Dorbs. Uh, another Funko um, product. Uh, not really a fan of these, but it is Deadpool. And it was a GameStop exclusive. And it was the last one they had, so I had to get this one. So uh, yeah, it's Deadpool. I'm also looking to get a Black Panther one because I don't know if I stated in the previous update but I'm trying to collect a lot of Black Panther stuff because I love Black Panther. So yeah, I'm looking to get a Black Panther Dorbs but um, this is Deadpool. So um, the regular version looks like this. Let me show you. It's just the, him in the red suit right here. But since this is an exclusive and uh, he's got a black mask and... Just a different suit on. So here's the back. Sorry, alright. So, um, yeah. Get uh, GameStop exclusive uh, Dorbs uh, Deadpool. And the rest of these are all going to be Star Wars. Since Star Wars is the main ones that I collect. Because I'm a huge fan of Star Wars as I've stated before. So, we're going to start with... Um, hmm. I guess we'll start with this one. It is a First Order Stormtrooper. And um, I found these at Target. Um, I live in La Mirada, and uh, the Target that's really close to me is the one in Santa Fe Springs, if you know um, the area well, where I live. And Santa Fe Springs Target never has any Star Wars Funko Pops. It's always like Magic the Gathering and stuff. But they actually had this one, and another one I'm going to show you. Uh, they actually had some there, so I snagged them. Um, they had two more. They had Finn, and they had, um, hmm, I don't remember who else they had, but they had this one, and the one that I have over here, Finn, and one other one. So they had four, and I snagged two of them. So this was one of them. First Order Stormtrooper. Pretty basic, but, uh, I needed a Stormtrooper. Here's the back. And, um, so yeah, First Order Stormtrooper. Um, I needed a Stormtrooper, and, uh, the stormtrooper that came out before the force awakens this just looked horrible so um this this one right here looks um like way better than the uh stormtrooper that is on the original star wars pop line so um speaking of the original star wars pop line we have here um luke luke skywalker from uh tatooine um where he is from so we'll take him out uh, this is from, I don't know if it's from the first line of Star Wars Pops, but it is definitely an old line of Star Wars Pops. Uh, so, I got this one and one other one from Barnes & Noble, which I'll show you next. But this one is from Barnes & Nobles. Uh, so, Luke. As you see, he's holding a blue lightsaber. And here is the back. And yeah. So that's Luke Skywalker from um, Tatooine, where he grew up and where his father grew up as well. We all know that. Oops. So yeah, Luke Skywalker. Um, the next one that I got from Barnes & Noble was um, Bib Fortuna. He is... You first originally see him in, I think... Return of the Jedi at Jabba's Palace, but he, he's in the prequels as well with Jabba the Hutt. So, um, but you, re I think you originally see him in Return of the Jedi. Um, so here's Bib Fortuna. 
um, pretty awesome pop, if I may say. So I love his, I love the his smile and like the sharp teeth. It's awesome. Here's the back. I love the back here. So um, yeah, that's Bib Fortuna. And the last Star Wars pop that I have, this was um, the second one I got from Target. It is Captain Phasma. Oh, that's right. They had two Captain Phasma, one for Star Wars Stormtrooper, and then Finn. That was the one. So they had, um, I snagged one of the one of the uh, Phasmas, as you can see here. So uh, I'll take it out. I've been wanting the chrome, the, the chrome version of Captain Phasma from the Smuggler's Bounty. Um, I should really subscribe to that. I'm a subscriber of Loot Crate, but uh, I should really subscribe to Smuggler's Bounty, so um, anyways, um, here's Captain Phasma. So, yeah, I've got the cape here, and all the silver armor, and the back. So it's basically just, it's pretty much the, it's pretty much the Stormtrooper, except without the blaster, and, um, obviously a different paint job and um, the cape that's pretty much what it is but still cool uh, to have uh, Captain Phasma um, so yeah that's it for this video um, I did uh, pre-order some from GameStop um, some start from uh, new Star Wars ones that are coming out I pre-ordered three of them one is an exclusive um, when I get more money um, I'll probably pre-order um, some more of them because Man, I, I, I don't know how I don't know how Funko does it, but all the Star Wars ones are all good, and that's why I mainly collect Star Wars, and um, also because I'm a huge Star Wars fan. But um, yeah, uh, when those come in, uh, they should be arriving, uh, be actually being shipped out um, June, I think June 30th. Uh, so I won't be getting those until maybe like um, early July. So um, when they come, I'll show you guys in an in a update, obviously down the road. So look out for that. Um, and I might pre-order some more, so look out for those. Um, anyways, I'm always uh, going out to look for Funko Pops because I'm pretty much addicted to these now. Um, they're all cool, but mainly Star Wars ones and Marvel. Those are like the two big uh, um, uh, franchises that I like to collect. But uh, anyways, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this update, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I forgot to show you one um, that I'm going to show you right now. It is, um, if you've ever seen SNL, or ever watched it, you know that they did a uh, parody of Undercover Boss, which is a show. Um, but they did it, a uh, Star Wars version, and if you remember, uh, Kylo Ren, or uh, Adam Driver, uh, he went undercover as Matt, the radar technician, and that's who this is. And this is a custom pop that I bought. Oop. Uh, he comes with a little lightsaber that he can hold, see? But uh, it fell out of his hand, I'll put it back. Um, but anyways, uh, this is a custom Funko Pop that I bought off of someone who was making them. Uh, so it looks really good, actually. So as you can see, this is uh, Matt here. And he, he looks like uh, the one on SNL that Adam Driver portrayed. So it's Matt, the radar technician. Uh, he didn't come in a box. Here's the back. Uh, he, the person that was making them um, did have boxes, but uh, he didn't make enough for the batches that he was sending out. So um, I did not get a box, but it's okay. Um, I'm an out-of-box collector anyway, so um, it didn't matter to me. So yeah, that's uh, Matt, the radar technician, as uh, his lightsaber here. Kylo Ren because you know yeah uh, if you haven't seen the skit on SNL of the undercover boss of Starkiller base edition you I really encourage you to watch it it's it's, it's freaking hilarious so um yeah that was the Matt the radar technician pop and now that's it so hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later